going on guys so i'm out here in the bean field uh it's about 6 20 right now and i'm out here in the bean field and uh looking at the beans we had about an inch in the five tenths of rain last night and i'm out here these are double crops uh beans and i'm out here checking to see if the uh how dry they are just from the rain you can see they look pretty dry you want know, they come out of the pot easy do the right test <coughs> let's go soft so it's probably not worth it's probably not worth going to cut a lot of it tonight but these are we're not even in this field but this is the field closer to the shop closer to the house check and i figure all about the same but uh we still harvest it we uh, we've been coming down for the last few days because of rain so i don't know uh we broke down, we had a rain delay, then we broke down, and then we ran for a day, and then we broke down again, and then we got, then we got rain delay again. No, let's see. We broke down, then, it, then, we, then we got it fixed, ran for a day, then we had another rain delay. Now I'm looking, I'm looking at these things. Uh, these things, are, these things, I'm hoping I cut tomorrow, because it's supposed to rain again today, it's the Wednesday, it's supposed to rain again uh, Saturday, and I want to get as much ground covered as means cut as we can before, before the day, uh, before the day, uh, before the next rain event comes in, which is, uh, Saturday. So I'm looking at these beans. These look beans look really deep. This is the field that I've been doing. Let's check the beans here. This, the, this here is a double crop field, like I said. And I am presently, I'm presently surprised at how good the bean, these double crop beans look. Isn't that sunset beautiful? I'm presently surprised how these good these double crop beans look considering the rain. How the whole month of September is dry. You need to get a single rain on them. And even on the top, even the top of these, the pods are all filled out. Oh wow. Pond right there. And the geese are coming off all the pond. But these things, they look pretty, like I said, this is probably nothing rambling on, but uh, I don't know how I play I play. Uh, there they go. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll probably, uh, tie this video in somewhere else in another video tomorrow, but, uh, it's getting cold out here. It's getting cold out here. But, yeah. The reason they beans are dry they are because it's, it's, it, it's uh, the wind's blowing all day and it's been sunny. So hopefully tomorrow we can only start. Uh, so we got about a day and a half left of full season. We got we have about a day and a half left of full season beans. And normally doing full season beans, we can focus on these double crops and we might then we'll like a. So we, when we get done with the full season beans, we'll be well over half done. We'll be uh. Over half done with the beans, we'll, we'll only like seven, when we get up to the double crop, when we get to the double crop beans, we're like 700 acres. So we like about 950 right now, the beans. In case you're much wondering. But yeah. That's what's going on right here, and I'm gonna get back in the truck. And, oh. Go ahead and right get the shop. There's the shop down there, but one bin set right there. That's my parents' house there. In the pond, this field here is in the this field here is in the lane, so that's why I'm checking this field because it's easy, easy, easy to check. Now I live down there, so yeah, that's uh, just checking this on my way out. I got some to go, I thought I'd check these beans, so I get an idea about how about, about tomorrow, so yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, it's 10 o'clock here, the beans are finally finally dried out, and we go. Uh, they look like they're pretty dry, they still a little on the moist side. We have more rain. We have another solid week of rain coming here and Friday night. But that's you know that's tomorrow night. So we're kind of pushing. We're kind of running as long as we can. So let's get the full seasons off. And we we got about 130 acres left of full season beans. Carrying them off what rains. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Uh, Just the way it is about the weather. But, uh, 
anyway, uh, everything's going pretty good. Dad is currently planting wheat to need drill. And I was I brought up a couple rounds with him this morning. We wanted to make the beans to test. And let me tell you, that drill is awesome. And I'll try to get I'll try to get some video footage of it here in the next uh, I'll try to get some video footage of here that thing in the next couple of days. But it's pretty awesome. What is getting our first bin? What is getting ready to have our first bin here? All I let this steel here. All we see, all we see here is all the black leather steel. That little strip over there. That little piece right there. That's all we want. Here he comes. We don't run anything through the uh, We all uh, want to put these things in the bottom of the bin. So, yeah. We all gonna put these. We all we all put all, all gonna put these things in the bottom of the bin. Like I said, so it's not that big a deal. But you gotta put them in the can. The way this year, the way this fall is getting tough to get your blade on. So it's like four hours and running everything perfect. Four hours and we gotta go with it. That bean hard and tough to get kind of crafty. So we gotta blend what you can. That looks pretty good. So yeah, go ahead and roll. Need to cut down. I thought they'd be at the three inches of rain, and the dust is pretty good. So yeah. Well, it's now about uh, it's now about four about four ten four fifteen, and. Uh, this is the last little strip in this field right here. This goes behind me a little ways, all the way right here. The last little strip in this part here. And uh, do that finishing from the other day and we got rained out. Uh, it doesn't feel like heavy, it doesn't feel like we're going to have any wind today, so I don't see it's having a late night. I don't see it. Let's see it's having a late night tonight. But they made, they made the cut good and now we haven't gone 4 7. So 5 4 5, still cutting good. But, uh, but uh, these beans are running around 60, uh, 65 on the yield, I believe. 65. So pretty good. These are uh, these here are channel bean. Uh, I can't tell you the number off the top of my head. That look, but that channel. These are channel bean uh, boy oil. Uh, yeah, they should have been cut two weeks ago. We had to calm down, but yeah, these they should have been cut two weeks ago. Uh, we had to calm down, break it down, and then we're getting rained on twice, and then we got another. Uh, so I'm surprised, you know, so I'm happy with the way they did. But I mean, it's just, anyway. Uh, we got another 25 acre pack down the road that we're trying to go to. Hopefully, be two to three minutes. I have another two the acre field over there. I want to do over there. So two the acres. I want to do across the ditch yet, and then I want to get uh, try to go to the next field. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. So uh, I'll give you all, I'll give you another. Well, this might be a problem. This might be, might be just a little bit of a problem. That might be why the headers stop turning. Love it. The joy of cutting around tree lines. Back in, back in bed, and I got the stick out. Luckily, it didn't go up in like a limb mount. Luckily, it didn't, it didn't go up in the header. Just like I saw it before it got in the combine. It had to reverse it, it had to reverse anything out. But uh, I think somebody forgot to spray right here, look at all the weeds. And these beans are flat and they're not all good, they're making about 30 bushels on an acre. And they're kind of wet too. But, like I said, I highly doubt, it's, like I said, it's always time to get dark late. It's uh, about, 
it's 10 after 5 now, and I highly doubt that this is 25 acre field, and I highly doubt we ever get this field done. Because it's, uh, it's going to be a tough, but it's going to get, they don't take me, it's going to be a tough life for what gets done. And there's nothing else I can do, I can do a little way the field across the ditch, across the road. And that's all I'll be able to do anyway tonight anyway because I don't know I don't know that we'll move. We we don't typically have to move that far. So anyway, that's what that's going on.